Welcome to Excel Basic Series number 23. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in our last Excel Basic video, we're going to look at the VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP is um, as common, if not more common, than the IF. And the VLOOKUP is a great question that uh, employers like to ask in interviews. Do you know how to use the VLOOKUP? We're going to look at uh, two examples here. Um, the first one is product. We want to have a cell where we can type a product name and automatically retrieve from this little teeny database the price. Now, I've made it small here. Usually these tables are much bigger. And then we'll go on and do an income tax example. First, before we do the VLOOKUP, I want to show you how to do data validation. Because we'd like a drop down um, arrow in this cell right here so we can select from any product in uh, this little table here. Now, the way you do data validation in 2007, you go data ribbon, and then you go data validation. It's very small there. I'm going to have to increase the size here data, data validation. Now in 2003, you go to the data menu and then data validation. The keyboard shortcut that works in both versions is Alt-DL, Alt-DL. Data validation is great. There's lots of tricks. I have some other videos at YouTube about data validation. We're just going to look at this one feature. We want to allow only things from our list. Then we click in the source. And we highlight that right there. Click OK. And sure enough, now we have a drop down arrow. Now, what we want is a function that will retrieve. Anytime we t select product 3, we want it to put 17. If we select product 2, we want it to put 18. I'm going to type equals V lookup. Now, screen tip's pretty helpful here. It says look up value. The VLOOKUP needs something to take into memory and go over and try and find it in the first column. So the lookup value is this right here. Screen tips are always polite. If you look here, it reminds you you have to type a comma to get to the next argument. Now, table array. That's the table of values with some values in the first column that you are, are looking up, and then something in a second or third or fourth column that you're retrieving. I'm going to highlight the table. If you were going to copy it anywhere, you'd need to lock this, but we're not copying it, so we won't worry about that. Now I'm going to type my comma to get to the next argument, column index number. Yeah, if you're using VLOOKUP, so far we have a value to go find. We find it here, but once in the table, right? But once you get here, you need to tell the VLOOKUP which column the thing is in to retrieve. We have one column, two column. It's not because it's AB. It's because the table is column one, column two. Now, in more advanced VLOOKUPs, you can have lots of columns. But for us, this is a simple example. So we just have to put a two to tell it to get that 17 from the two. Now, you have to type a comma and get to the next one. And Here's our little screen tips. There's something great in 2007. It reminds you that there's two possibilities. There's either true, which is approximate match, or false, which is exact match. Now, we can use a one for true and a false for exact. And the trick is, if I can scoot this over and get this in the video, when you're looking up words, you want to use exact match. So I'm going to type a zero here instead of false, and then close parentheses. Now we can hit Enter and go ahead and try that. Hey, let's add some formatting. Control-Shift-4 is the keyboard shortcut for currency. Control-Shift-4. Let's go ahead and try it. Drop down to 4. Sure enough, it gets the 15. Drop down to 1. Sure enough, it gets the 19. Now let's do another example. Here we looked up exact. But here we don't want exact because we have a 0, a 1,000, a 2,000. This is the year income and the year in the second column is the tax you need to pay. So we actually don't need data validation. But let's put a value like um, uh, 1,500. And I'm going to do that same thing, Control-Shift-4 to add some formatting. Now, we can do this um, 
by just looking at this table, but for big tax tables, you'd never want to do this. We can uh, take this 1,500, go through, oh, it's um, 2,000 is too big. So then we jump back here, and there is the tax, the $25 from the second column. We need to return to this cell. So 25 would be here if it was 1,500. If it was 6,000, we do the same thing. We take the 6,000, we go over here, we bump into the 10,000, which is too big. We come back to this row and 120. So then we want 120 in this cell. Forget doing it by hand. We want to use the VLOOKUP. So let's try VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. It still needs uh, a lookup value, which is your um, income, comma. It still needs the table array. Notice this is just a little table. There's one column, two column, but sometimes the tables are huge. They go for a hundred rows, and they could go for many, many columns because there could be lots of different things that you're looking at. But for us, we have a nice simple table. I'm going to type a column, and which column? One, two. So I'm going to put a two, comma. Now, we need to let's see if I can scoot this over here. All these little screen tips are getting in the way. Now here we want a, an approximate match. So I'm going to put a 1 here. And the reason why, I accidentally hit F1 there. The reason why we want a 1 is because we need to be able to find numbers in between. Now, something very important about VLOOKUP, it has to be sorted in ascending order. So your actual table must be assorted in ascending order from smallest to biggest for this to work. All right, I'm going to hit Enter. Sure enough, it found it. Hey, let's try um, 9,999. Look, right, it didn't hit the 10,000. Let's try 10,000. Sure enough, it jumps to our 75. Let's try 999. And it should be 0 because we're not taxed until we get to 1,000. So those are two examples for VLOOKUP. An exact match, an approximate match. We saw how to do data validation. Now, um, if you want to get your next job interview, I would say uh, not only look at that if, um, those other if videos I just suggested in uh, basics number 22, but for VLOOKUP, I'd go watch these two first videos, and there's actually 15 videos in this uh, Excel lookup series that I have posted at YouTube. And there it is. You can just click on this link right here or paste it into a YouTube search and it will open up. Uh, this is in fact the most popular video at the uh, Excel is Fun YouTube site. Hopefully it uh, will help you get a job. There it is. And, the, and it goes on from there, number one, two, three, four, five, showing you all sorts of VLOOKUP tricks. And don't forget, if you want to download uh, either the Excel is, Fun, Excel is Fun Basics workbook or the book that I wrote for free, you have to download it. You have to use your own paper to print it out. There is the link. All right. We'll see you next video series.